What's going on, everybody? So I'm back in the video. Hope everyone's having a great day. So we are just a couple hours away from the official release for iOS 16. So I'm going to show you guys a couple of things you guys need to do after updating to the latest version of iOS 16. So before we get started with the video, I'm going to leave a link down below in the description so you guys can check your um, country and your time zone on when the official release date is. It should be a couple hours for most of you guys, but it will be down below if you're unsure of when it will be uh, out. The first thing you guys will want to do is go into your settings and you want to go into your battery section right here. And there's, there should be a new option called battery percentage. So we can now officially get battery percentage at all times on our iPhone. So instead of having to swipe down to look at your percentage, it's going to be in the battery icon as you will, as you guys can see right there. Unfortunately, uh, this feature is only available for notch devices at the moment. Um, other than as well as I believe the iPhone XR, the iPhone 12 mini and 13 mini don't support it as well as every other device that um, doesn't basically support uh, face ID. Uh, hopefully in the future we get it for all devices, but at the moment it is only for um, notch devices but not the XR, the 12 mini, and the 13 mini. But very cool feature Apple has finally put into their operating system. It's been a couple years now. We've been waiting for a very long time, and it's finally here. So the second thing you guys will need to check out is going into your settings, then going to wallpaper. Obviously, we have that new redesign customization on our lock screen where we can add widgets, but a lot of people don't know where you're actually able to blur your wallpaper um, for your home screen or your lock screen wallpaper. So I have the option to blur it like this click on done, go back and you guys see it's completely blurred out, looks very clean, um, but I can also unblur it as well, obviously. So I'll go back and unblur it so you guys see what the original wallpaper does look like. But um, there it is. If you guys want to get my wallpaper, just DM me on Twitter um, and I'll just send you the uh, photo. I don't know the exact website I got off, so I kind of forget that. That's why I can't provide a link in the description. But uh, if you want the wallpaper, just DM me on Twitter at LimSteven10. Next thing we want to check out is our safety uh, check. So what you want to do is go into your settings, go into privacy and security, scroll down. And this is a new option in iOS 16. It wasn't on iOS 15, but we can click on this tab right here. And I recommend everyone go into this page and basically just reading through everything here. So there is an emergency reset to basically view um, your people apps and you're basically just your account security. So we head into this. Um, you guys see you can stop sharing uh, with all people and revoke access from apps because sometimes people forget to do that. Obviously, change your Apple ID, your security. Obviously, you want the two um, factor authentication. You can add or remove emergency contacts. Uh, but basically, go through this and as well as the second one right here, which manages the sharing and access as well. So this next thing you guys need to do is pretty obvious, but make sure you guys just go into your app store and basically update all your apps because um, obviously we are on a new operating system. So you obviously uh, do want to be on the latest version of all your applications. So um, I know some people just have like over 100 of apps not even updated. They don't have the uh, turn on automatic for um, app store apps, but um, make sure you guys do update all your apps so they're fully running the latest version. Next, we want to check out the photos applications. So a lot of people don't know about this for those um, new to iOS 16. You can now uh, lock your photos application or a certain sections right here. So we have the recent deleted and hidden section with either your face ID or a passcode. So if I head over to here, it's going to ask to use face ID. Obviously, I don't have any photos in the re uh, recently deleted section as of right now, but very cool thing Apple has finally added to the Photos app. So these last two tips are more like battery tips. I am going to make a more in-depth video um, for iOS 16 in the next couple of days, um, basically how to save battery life on the latest version. But uh, two main things that you guys will need to do, which some people don't know yet, is by going into your privacy and security and going to your location services and basically just turning off what you don't need um, at all times. So some people have like everything when shared or while using, but mostly these things like, for example, like I have uh let's look at some of the apps like old ios i don't need to be using my uh, location so i can basically just allow never so kind of go through this list and this will actually help save battery life um if you guys didn't actually think so but it actually does a ton so make sure you guys go through all your apps on your phone and basically turn off and turn on whatever you need so this next option is a battery killer um, it's basically going to your settings and then going to back uh, background app refresh so you guys will see right here i have everything on right now so 
basically um, these are apps that are running in the background where you're not even using it and, and just basically refreshing the content over and over either if you're on Wi-Fi or cellular data so uh, this like I said will use a ton of your battery life so what you guys should do is either use Wi-Fi or turn it off completely or um, if you're going to use the Wi-Fi, turn on the apps that you obviously want to be using and running in the background, refreshing their data. So like, for example, I don't need um, Reddit refreshing the background every single time when I'm not even using the application. So um, very important that you guys turn off where you need, but I don't care about this. So I'm going to turn it completely off. So that's basically it for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. So iOS 16 is officially here for everybody to install. So let me know what you guys think about it. I know some of you guys may have been running the beta, but for those that are uh, completely new to the firmware, uh, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments section. Make sure you guys drop a like on the video, hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell so you guys never miss a video. That's basically it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.